Hi, in this tutorial we'll see how you can add a business view column to an enterprise one edit form using the form extension functionality. With form extensions, citizen developers can easily extend an enterprise one form without opening the application code. This enables you to meet industry and regional data requirements at a lower cost. For this tutorial, we'll use a simple scenario. You are an inventory manager in a pharmaceutical company and you need to be informed about when your lots require a retest without having to check frequently. For this, you need to add the lot retest date information on the lot master record and use that in an advanced query. We'll show you how you can achieve this in simple steps by using form extension without any customizations or opening your application code. Let's start by accessing the lot master application and then the lot master revisions edit form. Use the form extension icon to access the form extension manager design panel where you can add available or unused business view columns to the form header or grid. This drop down list displays the business views that contain the columns that you can add to the form. In this example, only one business view is associated with the form, which is why we see only one business view here. Use the add mode or update mode options to specify whether you want the extended form control to be displayed when the form is opened in the add mode or update mode. Use the edit tab sequence checkbox if you want to update the tab sequencing of the fields on the form. For our exercise, we want to add the lot retest date information on the form. It's important that you exercise due diligence before you add any new business view columns on the form. This is because adding new business view columns may have an impact on the application's downstream process. For our exercise, we have done due diligence and have identified the field that we want to add here, which is user defined date 01. Next, we'll search for our field by typing in the field description or the DD item alias in the search field. Let's add this field to the form header. This is the field that we will use to define the lot retest date for our item. Let's save the form extension. Before you share the form extension with your business users, as a citizen developer, there is one important step that you must perform. You must validate the support of the form extension in the add or update mode. For the validation, all you need to do is execute a business transaction to ensure that the system is able to save the information as expected. Let's now validate if the system is able to update the information in the update mode. We'll search for an item for which we want to add the lot retest date information. This is the field that we had added earlier. Let's define the lot retest date. This item needs to be retested a week from today. Next, we'll add the same field in the inquiry application. We'll use the form extension design panel to add the field. Now that we've added the field, let's set the filter criteria. Let's save the form extension. Next, let's rename the newly added field. For this, we'll create a personal form. Let's save the personal form. Next, we'll create an advanced query which we will use to search for items that need a lot retest in the next 30 days. Let's save our query. Now we'll search for the items that require a lot retest within the next 30 days. You can see that the item for which we had defined the lot retest date is displayed. You've seen how to add a business view column and use that in a query. As a next step, you can use the query in a watch list alert so that you can be notified about any upcoming lot retest. To learn how to create a watch list alert, see this tutorial on learnjde.com. To summarize, you've learned how you can easily extend an edit form by adding business view columns without accessing the application code. For more information about form extensibility, see these resources on learnjde.com. Thanks for watching.